Placings are complete in our four-year-old class. Best stutter in the class goes to entry 3568, placing eighth. Roga Dundee Evelyn, exhibited by Firm Yvonne Sicard, Magistral Demers, St. Justine, Quebec. Third in the class is also the production award winner. Entry 3558, Four Hills Dundee Renee, exhibited by Elizabeth and Brittany Hill of Bristol, Vermont. Second in the class and also first bred known, entry 3545, Jacobs Jasper Abella, exhibited by Firm Jacobs, Cap Sante, Quebec. And the winning entry, entry 3564, T T Gold Prize, exhibited by Entourage LC of North Lewisburg, Ohio. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge Heath, your comments. Kind of a, a, a exceptionally nice class here here in the four year old class, but a but a hard class to line up. Uh, ended up made my eighth cow best daughter because she is the best daughter. Uh, I'm for that, but I think uh, the cow with the least amount of faults is a cow that I'm winning with. Uh, just a tremendous foot and leg on this cow, and clean hock. She really gets out there and floats. Uh, just an incredible. Uh, dairy open frame with the strength the cow that has that combination of dairy strength today i just prefer the first cow over the second cow she's more uh she to me she has a more desirable slope from hooks to pins today uh she's cleaner and flatter in the bone in that hock and she's stronger in that pasture and deeper in that heel and she is fuller at the top of the rear udder today um, I would give the cow in seconds a little smoother on the right side of the four udder, but they're both a little heavy on the left side of the four udder. Just more femininity and balance in that first cow. Just has more style, and she just jumps out and grabs you. What an incredible frame, the first cow. The second cow over the third cow she just has more spring of rib, more openness, and more length and depth to that to that rib region today. She's just a, a raw or more open rib kind of cow, and a cow that has more quality to that rear udder. I really like this third cow. She's got a great four udder. She's got that length of four udder and a really long-bodied, well-balanced cow, but today just lacks a little quality in her mammary system. But places over the cow in fourth today day and her width through her chest floor, depth of four rib, length of body, massiveness and power all the way through. Uh, the fifth, um, the cow coming out next and fourth, uh, I made second best udder, uh, a really, really fine uttered young uh, cow, but maybe a cow that uh, just lacks a little of that maturity, width and strength to uh, place any higher in this class today, but she places over the cow falling out next on her hind feet and legs, a cow that just gives me more flex through that hock and a cow that gets out uh, and, and is just locomoting a little nicer today uh, on those hind feet and legs. Furthermore, she's a more youthful mammary system cow. She's a cow with three calves, a cow uh, coming out in fifth, a uh, cow that's had two calves. I just like the, the, the immaturity of the mammary system. The cow in fifth, um, a cow that has a big, high, wide rear udder, but a cow maybe a little mature for me uh, for two calves, and a cow that I'd like to change in those pasturings, clean her up through that brisket today to get her any higher in this class. But she places over the next cow on her mammary system, on her snugness at the top of the uh, rear udder and fore udder, and just a little more strength and power uh, than the big, tall, raw dairy cow coming out six. The cow in six, uh, a really uh, a fine cow, a tall, dairy, stylish cow, but a cow when you get in front of her, she lacks that uh, width of chest, uh, depth of four rib, just ranges out a little bit over the top today. Um, maybe like to smoothen that left set uh, four udder up a little nicer, but just a tremendous cow in her own right with that big rear udder and that raw dairy frame. Thank you. <laughs> 